Hello and welcome to the Outpost RV. My name is Jeremy, our cameraman is Henry, and today we're gonna to take a look at the Wolf Pup 16 BHS. This camper is 21 and a half foot long and comes in at just under 3,300 pounds. We'll get started up front here. It does have the manual tongue jack, which you can simply flip the handle over, attach your screw gun to it and run it up and down with your screw gun. 20 pound LP tank bottle that will be filled by the Outpost RV. It comes with the Group 27 Deep Cycle Marine battery. We have the juice pack option on this camper, which means there's a 50 watt solar panel up top and the battery that comes with it. Curve radius front end with the diamond plate down below to protect you against rock chips. Right here, we have nice storage. You'll see underneath, lots of storage underneath the bedroom area. This is a sold camper, so it is prepped. So you'll notice there is a weight distribution hitch in here. Um, that is actually optional and an upgraded feature that you could add. But it will come with your 25 foot detachable power cord and all of the handles and cranks that need to come with it. We have four stabilizer jacks, two in the front, two in the back. And there is also gonna be an LP quick disconnect right up front there. So if you have a portable gas grill, such as a Coleman, you could take that with you, plug it in right there and use the gas on the camper instead of taking an extra bottle with you. Nice 15 foot power awning with the blue LED accent lights underneath. Each arm is adjustable. So if it's uh, got a light drizzle going on or the sun's in your eyes, you can lower one side or the other to keep that out. We have the oversized grab handle with the sturdy steps where the feet are still adjustable. The black tempered glass entrance door with the full size screen door. And this is still a friction hinge door here. Uh, lots of compliments on the door, how they have integrated a window now as well. We do have the pup kitchen, which comes with a prep table and your mini fridge on the outside. We have your entertainment center with your speakers that light up blue. Uh, the same TV bracket that's on the inside, so you can simply lift your TV up, bring it out here and slide it in. 110 outlets and your cable connection. We have your furnace vent. Down below, we do have the aluminum rims on here. The center cap will pop off. It is a quick, easy loop axle. And we also have a tire pressure monitoring system. The side of this cap will be green if you're good on air, and then it will turn red if you're low. So you can just walk around and do a visual check, but I'll unscrew this to demonstrate. If it's red, you need to put air in the tires. Nice feature though, quick walk around and you know that you're ready to go. Back here, we do have your leash latch. We are pet friendly with the Wolf, Wolf Pup product. So the furry family members can tag along with you. Spare tire and carrier with the cover. Four inch tube bumper down below. That is where you're gonna store your sewer hose. Up top, you'll notice we have the backup camera that is standard on the Wolf Pup. So nice safety feature, backup camera comes with it. We have this nice LED light on the off door side. So where your dump station is, you can see what's going on if it's nighttime. And speaking of the dump station, right down below here, the gray handle is for your gray tank. The black handle is for your black tank. And then right here with the bunk bed model, you have a lot of storage. So as you can see underneath here, it's storage all of the time, or you can take this top bunk. There is a strap up top and you could actually strap this up there and get what we call is a garage area. So bicycles, coolers, all sorts of stuff, lots of storage in this smaller camper. Right here is gonna be for your power cord. Again, it is a 30 amp unit, comes with a 25 foot detachable power cord. We have your outside shower with hot and cold water. And here's your water connections. On the right hand side is your city water. So if you're at a campground or at your house, you simply hook the water hose up here. That will pressurize the lines for you. Your fresh water connection is on the left. So you would fill up your fresh water tank if you're dry camping or boondocking so you could run the water pump to utilize that water. Last but not least, we have your six gallon DSI water heater. DSI stands for direct spark ignition. You can get up to 10 gallons of hot water if you're running it gas or electric and up to 16 gallons if you run gas and electric together. And that concludes the outside walkthrough of our Wolf Pup 16 BHS. Now we'll head to the inside. As we head to the inside, you'll notice there's lots of room, lots of storage, even though it is more of a compact camper here which is great for your midsize SUVs to tow as well. Right inside the entrance door is where we're gonna get started. We have all of your main um, switches here where you could check your water levels, uh, see how full or empty your tanks are, turn the water pump on, gas, electric, water heater. 
the lights and to run your power awning there as well. In the kitchen area up top, we have some cabinets with your microwave and a range vent, which is vented to the outside. Nice counter space. We have the high rise faucet. It is a large single bowl sink, stainless steel, and it does come with the prep cover. So if you're not cooking at the time, you can utilize that as prep space as well. Two burner stove top. And down below we have more storage and then your furnace, which is directly underneath the two burner stove. Right beside that, this is directly underneath the refrigerator. We have your breakers and fuses and your converter, which is gonna be that black box with that green and white sticker. To the right is the red key, and that is your 12 volt cutoff switch so you can kill all power to the batteries. And right above that is gonna be your carbon monoxide detector. Up top here, we have the 12 volt refrigerator. We've had fantastic reviews on these. They do a great job much larger than the previous gas electrics that we've had, and they cool down in a fraction of the time. In the bathroom area, we do have a vent up top, toilet down below, as well as your shower. And this is gonna be more of a tub shower, as you can see. And inside here, we do have a corner sink in the shower itself and still with the wand up top. In the back, we'll take a look at these bunk beds here. Each bunk will have its own power source and a light. And again, with the bottom bunk here, where that extra door is for the storage. And there is the light and the power source there. We have your thermostat for the furnace. Stereo, which is AM, FM, and Bluetooth compatible. And it also has an HDMI port, so you could watch a DVD off that as well. Right above that is your voltmeter. Since we have the juice pack option, we do have the voltmeter in here as well. Lots of storage up top here above the dinette. The dinette will turn into another bed for you as well. You'll see that with our pictures online. And storage under both of these dinette seats as well. Up top here, uh, we're gonna take a look at the ceiling. We have your air conditioner up top, and we also have speakers. The subwoofer has a blue light in it. And then there are also gonna be two speakers that are mounted on the ceiling as well. Up in the bedroom area, we have nice storage up above the bed. 110 and 12 volt charge ports at the head of the bed, as well as a nice shelf there. And on the opposite end, we do have a TV connection. So you can mount a TV right here and be able to lay in bed and watch TV with the perfect location. And that will conclude the walkthrough of our Wolf Pup 16 BHS. I appreciate you guys watching. If you have any questions, feel free to contact myself or Henry at 866-338-9845. Thanks for watching and have a great day.